off is just different colors. Today we're going to mainly focusing on the well, sorry, the cotton candy charm. Okay. Okay, so first, first thing, you want to make sure your loom is set in the offset um, position. And it's tight and it. So that it is in the offset position. Yeah, and you're going to need two colors. Usually white is going to be your stick, and then whatever color you want it to be. You just have two colors, and I'm using white and purple. Rainbow colors or anything. Okay, so first thing I have you to do is we're going to take two purple bands and go from the first center peg to the first right, sorry, first left. So it's going to look like this. Next, you're going to take two of your purple bands and go from the first center to the first right. So it looks like this. And then you're just going to go up one more with two. And you always use two with this. Um, this. And then you're going to get two more and just go from the left to the center pin. And it's going to look like this. And then you're just going to do the same thing for the other side. And it's just going to make a hexagon figure. Oh no! My band almost fell down. Okay. Oh, my my time in the picture. Okay. And go so up. in the end. You should go back into the center. Wait, hold on. In the end, you should just have this. So, and then you're gonna start back in the center, and that's what she's gonna show you. You just go up all the way until you get to this part right here, right? Where you closed in. Yeah. And remember, you're always using two rands. This is going to make it more like sturdy and more like thick. If you only had one, then it would just be. You will add this part right here, this little band, where you can hang it on stuff at the end. So don't yeah. worry about that. Don't, yeah, don't worry about that. So this is basically your where my pink is. That's all the pink. And it's where yeah. my blue is. Yeah, and so now you're going to get two whites and go from this center pin at the top, the center pin at the top. And it's going to go down four pins. Well, actually, you're going to put four down, so it would be eight bands for one, two, three. So in the end, it's going to look like this. You just have one, two, three, four, and it's going to be your stick. Now you need to add the cap band. So what you got it's going to go around three times. One single cap band that is white is going to go around this last um, peg three times. One, two, and... Sorry my fingers are in the way, but it's really hard to make a cap band um, on here. And it's just going to be three times on this last pin, and that's what's going to hold it all together at the bottom. And then you're going to take one of your colors that are going to be where the blue is. You're going to flip your loom around and you're just going to make your you're going to make triangles and if you have and then you do it twice around and if you have trouble then a little trick that I do is you just like that. it is a double round triangle right there. Then you're going to do the same thing, another triangle. Go around two double. times, and if you have trouble, just do it right there. Just do it to those two pins for right now. Loop it around so that you have it too, like, and then bring it up so that it makes a triangle. And remember, these are both double around, and they are triangles. And there shall only be two triangles. And that's all the placing of the rubber bands you will have to do. And so then you're just going to put it like you always do with the arrow, the red arrow facing you. And we can start looming it. You're going to go into this pin and grab the two rubber bands and pull them forward. If you have done rainbow loom before, this is just going to look like your single. That's a little too weird. And you're going to do that all the way down until you get to the purple. I just need to catch up. Okay. 
should just go down to like this. Okay, and so it should then, make your drops. Yeah. If it doesn't make them, then you hooked the wrong ones. Yeah. So and next you're gonna take the top ones, which should be going forward. And for me, it's always kind of hard to get the top ones. So there, and it should just go forward. Like, and it's okay if you only do one at a time. Yeah. Then you're gonna go to the next one, and this should be the, the next top one, and it's going to go to your left. And you remember to grab two. I remember once I grabbed one, and I didn't even realize it, and it fell all apart. And you're just gonna go to the left. And just remember, can you can do it one at a time, you can do it two at a time. And they all should make teardrops. So if it does not look like a teardrop, or if it's a struggle to pull over, it does not look like this. It does not. I repeat, it does not need force. Yeah, it does not need force. So do not. If Unless it has you to pull, have to pull it through a bunch of them. Yeah, but this should not take force. Then and you can go to the right. I'm going to go just up the side, and I'm starting on the left side. It doesn't really matter which side. I just like to start at the left side. Yeah, you just usually want to start like at the left. Like everything in Rainbow Room usually is like left is the right way to go first. And, and then we're going to use the left put side. It, put it up into this right here, this this peg right here. Go and then go on the other side, the right side. You're just gonna go up the left side, all the way up, pulling the bottom bands, to the next one, and then you're just gonna pull it to the um to the to the center, center, the first center like, peg. Okay, and then you do the right side. Then actually, you go to the middle. And the middle. This one should be easier because you don't have to pull back any bands, and yeah. you. But you still put this forward. This last one goes forward. All of your bands should now be hooked and look like. Then you go up the right side. And Rachel, your thing is really like messing up. So. And so now that you've placed where you um, moved all your bands, it's going to look like it's in the end. So make sure you're looking at it carefully to make sure you didn't mess anything up. And then you're going to get your go over here. Yeah. Okay. And put it through all of these and to the side. Like that. And put your color, put your color in and just pull. It doesn't always work the first time for me, so I usually have to pull a little bit. And just what you're going to do is put this one through that and pull. And it will make a knot on all of the bands and now you probably want to use your loom to help take it off or your stick and you just pull it off making sure that none of the bands snap because ooh, my loom just like fell apart but just pull it all off and, get that out. and here you have your candy cane Thing, and you just need to start cotton candy. Mm -hmm. And you just need to like pull on it a little bit to make your shape however you want it to be. Um, mine turned out pretty well. And that's what it should look like. And it is just cotton candy, or it can be a lollipop, either what you think you want it to be. Um, and that's how you make it. So, yeah. And it's really not complicated if you watch carefully. So that's what it is. Okay, I'm gonna put my loom back together because it kind of broke. Okay, that's, there we go. Okay, so that is how you make the um, cotton candy charm. If you want to see more charms, please comment below. If you don't, then comment below. Yeah. We will show you what you want to see next. Uh, yeah. 
can take another one. Maybe. This is just, and some of the charms that we have here are the pepper, the ladybug. One second. Oh, the heart is my favorite, but it's extremely difficult. So that's a challenge. And then I have made the mustache, and I love it. And I did the. All I basically did goldfish. Put this on top of it. And so there's just a bunch of different. You also need the. Uh, Candy cane, which is so easy to make. This is probably the easiest thing I've ever made in life. And so there's like a bunch of different charms that you have. Um, if you want to spin bracelet, you can twist it. And the triangle bracelet, you can ask me. Comment down below which one you want to see. Bye.